Hey everybody! So, just finished the Squally series, and I'm uh, about to start Hack and Slash here. I haven't played it at all, I don't know anything about it except for the description on their store page. Uh, before I get talking about Hack and Slash, I do want to say that it turns out that uh, if you enjoyed the Squally series, and that's why you're watching this one now, uh, it turns out a couple of things. Number one, it turns out that Squalor Inc. also produces Squalor, which is a cheat engine-like um, program. So if you're playing Squally, check out Squalor. Uh, also, Zachary Kanan, the developer, uh, one of the developers of Squally, also has a YouTube series um, talking about the game and uh, kind of a tutorial on, on how to play it. So uh, if you're interested in that, check those out because I saw a couple of the videos. I'm glad I didn't see them before I played Squally because it might have uh, given away some of the answers. But if you're playing Squally and you're struggling, or you're just learning game hacking, uh, definitely check them out. They will tell you a lot of what you need to know. So Hack and Slash, a puzzle action game about hacking. Uh, so you reprogram objects, properties, hijack global variables, hack creature behavior, and even rewrite the game's code. The only way to win is not to play by the rules. This is developed and published by Double Fine Publications. This is from 2014, so I believe it is a couple of years older even than Squally. Um, it is part of a couple of bundles right now on Steam. I did get this, let's see, um, got a couple of other games as well. I don't actually know if I actually purchased them, but I think they're on my wish list. So Duskers, Hacknet, uh, TIS 100, Event Zero. These are similar um, hacking games. I don't want to say hacking games. Uh, hacking themed games is, I guess, what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know how good they are. I'm just letting you know that uh, it is currently bundled and it has been bundled with uh, several other games since I first became aware of it. So, uh, let's see. Using game tools to hack the game while you're playing it. Hack the code, make the game yours, crash it if you're hacking the game for real. You can totally break it, roll back, and okay. I'm not sure if we need to actually have an external tool like Cheat Engine or something, or if it will be like Squally, where it's basically entirely through the game's UI. Uh, basically, essentially what I'm getting at is I'm not sure how much hacking the game is the game, or how much hacking is part of the game, if that makes any sense. The reviews on this one are generally positive, although I did notice when I first bought it that there is quite a few negative reviews on this one. Uh, a lot of them are complaining about um the the uh mode of the game essentially the, the, not the premise of it and, uh, so much as the execution the implementation but i don't let reviews like that sway me too much i gave uh i gave them a read and i uh, took a look um no hacking in game is bad anyway i took a look at uh at the trailers i took a look at the reviews and i figured it was worth taking a look at at least doing a first part on it and seeing if it's you know, anything good at all. So I'm going to start it up here and um, maybe I'll get some shot. Okay, was was done with that. Well, there we go. As I say, you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, I have no cursors. Press enter, I guess. Odds, huh? Okay, well, you can apparently create your own mods. I'm gonna check that out. In the mod, I'll find in there. Well, I guess we'll see what that's about later. New game. Sure, Alice is fine. It's dangerous to hack and slash. Be brave. Act 2? Where's Act 1? In which I meet a new friend and start an adventure. Why are we starting with Act 2? The event fall could have hurt to advance conversations. Press enter. Apparently there's no mouse involved. I have no cursor whatsoever, so it's keyboard only game, apparently. That's a sword. Ow. Alright. Who would install a pitfall trap in the forest? I probably don't want to meet them. Time to look for a way out. To move was I'm glad I borrowed the sword. Maybe I can use it to bust out of here. Soon your sword plus space. Just like Squally! Oh, it broke it, but it's a USB. 
Heck, did I break it? Is that supposed to come off? Okay. Well, I see a USB port on the door. Locked. Maybe I can get it open. The sword. Gate door. So we have a gate door object with an attribute open, which is currently false. And if we change that to true, it opens. Okay. Don't like, for some reason, not having a cursor is kind of bothering me, even though it serves no uh, real purpose. I just kind of miss it. Uh, okay, apparently I'm some kind of an elf here. Oomph, 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 what's that? Oomph, oomph, oomph. Okay, apparently I can push those, can I slash it? Is that rock making that noise? Hack block, main pushes, zero, seconds for push. Tiles for push. Time before push starts. So, I guess I'll give it more pushes. And we'll push it real far, I guess. Oh. Phew, I got free. It's some kind of a fairy with a USB port for a mouth. USB A port. Oh, hi, be careful. That hole is tricky. Hey, you're a sprite, right? Yeah, uh, hey, you're a human. A red human. What? I'm not red. I'm sort of pinkish, tannish. Red. Oh, bits, we found each other. I think we're a match. Okay, yeah, we're going to be. Best friends! <laughs> Alright, that's, that's pretty adorable. nearby. Wizard Zap, some obviously evil wizard, and an obviously evil fairy. Magic time, boom. Still a. Fireballs, whoosh. Oh yeah, that was an entrance. I think it came from outside. Yes, best friends forever. Oh yeah, what's my name? I don't know. Oh come on, you want to just write pick a name, you know the rules. Okay, so we made the rules. I don't know, they're just the rules. How about we call you Bob? Sure. Bob, Bob, awesome. Oh, and your name can be, uh, uh, when last real. My name is Alex. Oh, you can break the rules. Cool. Let's get out of here. That was about to draw some attention. Yeah, let's go on an adventure. Okay. The uh, plot seems to leave a little bit to be desired so far, but <laughs> uh, I like the mechanics so far. All right. One of these. Um, oh, can I do the bush? Hearts to drop. Okay. Um. All right. I mean, so far, I, 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 all right. I think things are going okay so far. Uh, it seems to be pretty fun, but I am very here. I probably wish I had to shove it that way, but that's fine. Sure, it's just what they heard in it. A little more healthy. That was a pretty sly look at this gave me. Check day. Self world days. If 50 days. If 
50 plus less than the days continue. So for spawn beach treasure chest, we have less than 5,000 days, so it's gone. Can I change any of this? Can't change it. I can pull for this. Okay, oh, but I can't, can't do anything with it. I want to spawn the treasure chest. Apparently that's just supposed to let me know when the treasure chest spawn. Can I whack it and change it? Okay, I don't know. If I'm not doing it. Uh, can I? Can't get around it now. And it's done. I should be careful. Is this weird? Oh, there's a turtle. Oh. Apparently, I can't swim. It just goes around to the other side. music. Here's a sign. I'm not going to do what you tell me to do. I'm going to go the other way. Uh, it's a kind of crazy bird. Oh. We're even harassing rocks. If I increase its, it seems it'll be attacking the rock. If I increase its damage, will it destroy the rocks I can get through? damage and attack very fast, I guess. No. Thanks for getting rid of the raven. You're welcome, rock buddy. I got you fighting that raven, Bob. You're welcome, boss. You probably want to get through here. You can run away. Okay. I mean... Originally, I did try to get the raven to kill you. It's just when that turned out to be impossible, I went with my second impulse, which was to have it stop attack. But, yeah, understandable. Oh, okay, remember that's a naughty turtle. Apparently, naughty turtles can break the rocks. Oh, hey. There we go. Explode on charge hit faction. Good. So, so I guess now on my side. Field of view. It's going to be on my side, but let's beef it up, eh? It'll be here. Behavior is... I don't know what I don't know what other behaviors there are, so I don't know what significance the value has. Uh, move speed, perception, distance. Okay. Are you a good turtle now? Uh, still look pretty naughty, but you're not attacking me, so I'll assume you're good now. This music is really rocking. I don't even know where I am. Oh, there's one of them ravens. Go away, Raven. Is there really anything even worth? Like seeing over here? I don't know. Look at the look at the look on this fairy's face. Come here. Look at this. Look at that. What are you up to, fairy? I don't like that look you're giving me. Okay, that goes there. This should go back down to where I was then. Yep, that's the that's the lake. Okay. All right, I am reoriented and ready to explore new territory. This should be on the other side of that rock that I've worked up. I'm going to push that back quick. Yeah. 
I can't push it back even from here. Well, that's unfortunate. There we go. I just wanted to get that out of there. Yeah, I fell in a hole. Okay. Uh, cryptics. This chest wasn't here before. What is this thing? It's labeled day, night, speed. I have stories about nighttime, but I'm pretty sure it's make believe. I guess, in a way, I'm glad that I fell down that hole. Yes. Let's see what is up to. I'm assuming it controls the day and night speed as in the cycles. So. I'm missing a heart now, but I'm not going to bother. Sneak around it? No, I cannot. Well, damn it. Now I get to do that again. Apparently, you cannot sneak around the hole. I have to go to the hole. That's kind of annoying how this, uh, this happens, but. Oops. Uh, so far, this is only a couple minutes into the game, uh, I like the mechanics, the art is pretty nice, uh, but not a little creepy, um, but having some thoughts here that this not be that great of an experience. It's, uh, it seems very simple. It seems really easy. Which is great. Um, you know, for... Oh, I should probably just try to push here and get some hearts. I just realized I'm almost dead. Uh, anyway. It's, uh, it's very rudimentary, which is great. If you don't understand, uh, you know attributes and, and changing them and, and that kind of a thing um, but um, it's really as easy as just kind of selecting um, excuse me selecting the attributes it's, it's very rudimentary it's very easy so far okay yeah, their USB is on their belly so how to, um, I push this behind him if he'll thump into it when he turns around. Nope. Oh, but it does, um, let's see. It does cause them to go farther away, so... Um, I can't sneak around this way, but I can do this. There we go. What is this? There's a weird artifact thing in here. I wonder what that does. Yeah, I don't know. Queen Sprite gave hearts. Yep, no. Let's try uh, number one again here. Day speed. Let's try to make it nighttime. Yeah, there we go. Holy crap. It would be a bit too fast. It's kind of going nuts. Slow that down a little bit. Uh, 
Okay. Can't remember which direction it came from. Okay, I've been over that. Okay, it came from this way, yes. So this just turns back around here. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, you again. All right. I think now we will go. Yep, 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 yep. Get out of the way. All right. Let's go this way and presumably go to the castle. Well, apparently the bushes catch. Oh, what the hell! I didn't lose any hearts, though. Apparently the bushes catch fire when they're near each other. Yes, I see a caster. You can also control with the arrow keys button. I'm glowing. Oh, overflow, huh? Okay. Ten. Oh. Ten is the max. It's not helping us. There. Okay. Well, it overflows if I go over ten. So should probably oh, beef up then. Ten is ten seems to be the max, and then it explodes. So it's got its parts to avoid dying. Oh, jeez! Almost fell off the edge again. Um, or is this the kind of thing that has to be done? Maybe at night? I don't even know, like, am I getting any feedback here? Um, so I don't know what the issue might be. Let me go back and see if we missed something. This would be my guess. Do anything with this. Hmm. 
I, mean, I, I can use the thing to maybe... I mean, if I turn this like way the hell up, days will go flying by. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Can't, I can't see a current day count, so I don't know. Or am I supposed to be using an external tool and that if I can find the, the day counter, I can see where we're at. There's that. Maybe I don't want to fall down there again. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually went down to see the other side of that, so... Oh yeah, I must have. Here's the atoms. You dick. When you get too close to an edge, it sucks you in. See? Alright, so... Um, the hole is over here, on the other side of that. Uh, that goes back to the turtle place. There's a village down there. I'm pretty sure that falling that way is not how you get there. Go this way. Here we got this is the way I went before. Yeah. Okay. Signs don't actually tell you anything. This apparently vaguely point in directions, so down here. That's and then over here is yeah, over here is the turtle pond. So what? So what does this do, though? Queen Sprite Game Hearts. Oh, what if I, uh, what if I, can I go the opposite way here? Let's up, down, direct, select, primary items Okay. Uh, he, he told me. Maybe now. Dismiss. Okay. Well, the only thing I haven't checked out here is sword. It's not at all. Not at all. Okay. I think I just heard something. So, can I manually enter in? No, I cannot. Can't delete. Do I need to have an external tool to throw a cheat engine here? Is that what I have to do? I just I can't exceed ten without it uh, exploding on me. I am going to assume that that is what I need to do, so I shall. The new limit to open cheat engine. All right, cheat engine is open. Attached for the process. So game. I had to take it off the full screen, obviously, because going back and forth between Cheat Engine and Tech and Slash on full screen uh, would have been a real pain in the butt, so we are now on Windows mode. Alright, so 
we are going to first do a scan instead of let's assume it is a four byte value let's go ahead and start with zero and then we will game it's one it's value scan okay now we'll go to three Um, let's go to five. Let's do it with an exact value match. Five. Four hundred and fifty-four. Let's go to six. Let's do an increase scan. Sixty-one, but none of them, none of them are six. Let's do a new scan. Start with six this time. Oops. Six, not fifty-six. Alright, so let's go down. Increase down and can go the first scan. Now we'll do and we're gonna stay compared to the first scan, but we're gonna go to seven. <clears throat> and now we're gonna do an increase value. Twenty-two. And then we'll go down to six, and we're going to go with an unchanged value compared to the first scan. And we got a handful. If I, you know, if I move the va variables, they change, but not uh, in any way that seems to make any sense. So maybe it's not a four byte. No. Let's do a new scan. We'll do all. And we'll start with three. Maybe it's a two byte value. Probably. I mean, still gonna have a million results though, so we will still be compared to the first scan and we'll do an increased value four. And we'll stay with the comparison to the first scan, but now we will do a decreased value. Right, so we've got a couple contenders here. There we go. These ones right at the top seem to be lockstep with uh, what we're doing here. Let's try changing this one to two. Nope. Let's try changing this one to two. Nope. Let's try changing this one to two. Mm. Let's try changing this one to two. Mm. Okay. They seem to be related and yet. Maybe it's just the, the UI is not updated. Let's change the value to the last scan. Okay, it's not. There we go. A couple more down here. Uh, let's do an exact value for four now. Down here. Let's add all of these. Let's doubles in one four byte. Let's try this one. And they all change. enough can change this back huh. well it's not that one I don't know what that is it just happens to have weird 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 what is this zero is four five zero no idea. It's definitely related to this. Is it, hold on, is it a counter for, I got a 10. Huh. All right, well, we got floats and we got doubles. Let's try changing our doubles first. Let's try changing this to eight. Uh, 
again. All right, let's try changing it to a, let's try changing it to 100. Might just be a UI thing where it's just not displaying the current number. Oh my goodness. So that didn't work. <laughs> I mean, it totally worked. <laughs> uh, but it didn't do what we wanted it to do. I just got zapped in a big way. Uh, let's see. Let's do it again, I guess. My variables are all screwed up. Okay, there we go. So that four byte value is definitely related. It's weird how it counts. Two, three, four, five, zero, one, two, three, four. Five. Is that uh, is that related to the uh, thing that goes off? I wonder that uh, causes the zappy zap. I'm gonna lock it at zero and see what happens if I breach the ten. It's not related to that, apparently. Now let's go get some health quick. We'll try again. We got the variables that are related to the door for sure. Because we had that thing fully freaking open. This time, oh, one of our doubles is no, and our floats are no longer changing now, it's just our doubles. So what happens if I take these and we set the value to 100 and the one? So more than open. Oops, that's not changing the type, I'm changing the value. Change the value to 101. That does not seem to have done it. And our floats are no longer associated. I'm going to lock them at six and see what happens. Would be nice to have some kind of feedback here so that I know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing, but and crashed. Okay, that's fine. That's good for part one anyway. Um, we're gonna have to figure out how to open this door. I, I don't see anywhere else we can go uh, or anything else we can do. There seems to be no other information for us to, to ask, so um, yeah, maybe I'll start looking at the mod thing. I'm not sure even what that's about. Anyway, that's part one. I'm going to think about it and maybe we'll do a part two. That was fun. Uh, the mechanic is nice. Like I said, it's it's good for you know teaching about um, you know altering variables and, and, and you know, attributes and that kind of a thing. Uh, you know the sort of um, the sort of parameters that you might expect with certain objects in the game. That's that's totally fine. Um, I guess I'm a little intrigued. We'll see. Maybe we'll do part two. Anyway, if we do, I guess I'll see you in that one. And if not, then uh, maybe I'll play a different game. You know, maybe something that's a little bit more... Uh, a couple of things. I've been considering doing uh, Welcome to the Game, which I know I'm really late to the party on a lot of these games. Like, Welcome to the Game is like... 
eight years ago now, or something like that. And the sequel, Welcome to Game 2, was 2016, I think. Um, and they've been played to death, of course, by other people. But, you know, uh, I haven't seen anybody playing it from a uh, computer criminologist's perspective. I thought maybe it would be kind of interesting for me to uh, to play that game and see uh, if uh, if my education experience uh, or whatever um, helps at all. You know, I understand those games are very, very hard. So, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, see you next time.